I have the Chinese version of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 right here. And today I'm going to show you how to switch over from the Chinese version of MIUI over to the global version of MIUI. Now this is something I've been wanting to make a tutorial about for weeks if not months but there has yet to be a specific global fast boot ROM for this device. That's usually how Xiaomi devices work where you can buy the Chinese version and then a few months later when the global version gets released you can download the fast boot ROM of the global version boot up into fast boot mode and then just switch over from the Chinese version to the global version. Now this brings a lot of new features, it emphasizes Google Assistant instead of Xiaomi's AI Assistant. It comes with more languages, a more English style user inter interface because while you can still pick English on the Chinese Redmi Note 7. Things like the theme store is going to be displaying a bunch of images that have Chinese language and lettering used instead of English. The text itself will be in English, but some parts of native apps and native things are going to be using those Chinese images. So it can be hit or miss. That's why a lot of people switch over to the Xiaomi.eu, which is an unofficial version of MIUI, and it's what I'm running on this, but this it'll be the same process of switching over from the Xiaomi.eu ROM or the official Chinese ROM. Now before you can switch over to the global version, which is technically the EEA version of MIUI, for some reason they're not calling it global and they have again they have yet to release a fast boot ROM for that. But we're going to be using that EEA recovery ROM which can be flashed in TWRP. So first you need to download that that ROM file. I'll have that ROM file linked in the tutorial for this guide here this video on my website and you'll find that linked in the video description for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. After you have downloaded it you're also going to need to unlock the bootloader of your smartphone. Now if you've not begun that process it's going to you most likely it's going to take you two weeks they have a two week waiting period so go ahead and start that if you haven't initiated it already some people get instant unlocks, some people might need to wait three days or seven days or 15 days. I'm usually having to wait 15 days for each device unlock now. So you have to have the device unlocked and you also have to have TWRP installed. So if you're unfamiliar with how to do any of this, again, look in the video description, go to my website. I have each of these other tasks detailed and step-by-step -step instructions including how to unlock the bootloader how to install TWRP how to root the device so again you need to download this EEA ROM you need to have the bootloader unlocked and you need to install TWRP once all of that is done then we can boot this device into recovery mode which will again will be TWRP. And this is going to take us to the TWRP main menu. From here, I would recommend you creating a backup ahead of time, just in case you need to restore, in case something goes wrong. 
Then we need to go into the wipe section. So tap the wipe button. And then we're going to be formatting data. Type yes to continue. We're going to go back to the TWRP main menu. We're going to be tapping wipe again. This time advanced wipe. And we are going to be wiping the Dalvik and Arc cache, the system partition, and then we're going to swipe to the right to actually wipe those specific partitions. I'm going to go ahead and press the home button to go back to the home screen again. Since we have formatted the data partition, we're going to tap on reboot and reboot back into recovery. It's okay that there's no OS installed because we're just, again, we're just rebooting back into recovery to take us back into TWRP. So once we have rebooted from TWRP back into recovery mode, which again will be TWRP, is going to create a TWRP folder in the internal storage of the device. Once that reboot is done, we can then copy the firmware and Magisk and a custom kernel or any other mods that you want to flash in TWRP, we can then copy all those to the device now that we have are done formatting data. And as you can see here, we have the TWRP folder here with, I'm, I'm going to be installing the firmware and then Magisk, but you can install other things here if you want. Now I will say, I'm going to be linking to a download for this firmware on my website. Again, this is the recovery f um, update for the EEA version of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. Now, if you use the download link I give you, then you can just copy it straight to your device, and that's good. If you have downloaded this recovery firmware from a different source, then you're going to need to go into that recovery firmware and remove the the compatibility.zip file that you find in there. All I have done is downloaded this f firmware file from source and I've gone in and made that deletion already and that's what I'm linking to on my Android file host account but for anybody who has downloaded this firmware from a different source you will need to remove that compatibility.zip file before you flash it. I'll go into detail about that in the full tutorial on my website, but I just wanted to make that clear. As long as you download this firmware from my linked source on my website, then you're good to go. You don't have to delete anything. So again, once we're ready, we're just going to tap on the firmware file. I'm just going to go ahead and tap the add more zips and then tap on Magisk as well. So we're going to install first the firmware and then we're going to install Magisk right afterwards. Once that's ready, we swipe to the right to begin the installation process. So technically what we're doing here is we're treating the EEA MIUI version of or the MIUI version for this device. We're treating it as the global version. We will probably be able to do this the traditional way with the fast boot ROM whenever one gets released. I've been keeping my eye pretty steady on the XDA forums and the me.com forum, and I have yet to find an actual fast boot download. That is, of course, as of this, as of making this video and doing this tutorial and in the future that will likely change but again this is something this is a tutorial I've been wanting to do for weeks 
if not a month or two, and have just been w- pa- uh, waiting patiently for that fast food ROM to be released, and it just hasn't. So this is an alternative method of going from the Chinese version of MIUI for the Redmi Note 7 to the global version of MIUI for the Note 7. And if anybody has installed any custom ROMs in the past, this whole process is going to be very familiar with you. Like I said, we're treating that EEA version as the global version, and we're treating it as a custom ROM, essentially, that we're simply flashing in fast in TWRP. A lot of people are also familiar with flashing the recovery images in TWRP to update from one version of MIUI to the next. And there we have it. Now that we have installed the firmware and Majisk, we need to install Majisk so that we can keep TWRP installed. It's just how things work. Now we can Tap on the reboot system button, and that's going to reboot our Redmi Note 7 into the EEA global version of MIUI. And since we have done a factory reset and we're installing and booting a fresh version of, a fresh install of Android, this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. Just be patient and you will be taken to the Android activation screen. So we have booted back into the activation screen, as I said. I'm going to go ahead and activate this device, log into it, and show you that we are now on the global version of MIUI. 
So there we have it. We are back into MIUI. And everything works as it should. We've got the camera that works. Play Store works and is automatically installed. You don't have to go through outside sources to install it. The themes work and are in English and are using English images. We can go into settings. And you can see here we are on MIUI Global 10.2. And that's it. It is a different way of installing the global version of MIUI on a Chinese version of a Xiaomi smartphone. But this is how to switch over the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 from the Chinese version of MIUI to the global version of MIUI.